2019 Memorial Day ceremony at Forest Hill Cemetery. And I don't think this place has ever looked better. If you look uh, over towards these graves, you'll see they're all like almost brand new. They were cleaned just a few weeks ago. You could thank Jim Cahill and his great staff. They did a great job. And as always, we come here today in this beautiful and solemn setting for a ceremony to remember our military servicemen and women who have proudly served this country and our community and the armed forces and who died during wartime and are buried around you in this cemetery and also Holy Cross Cemetery. Like many of you, I stand here today among family and friends. I have a cousin buried right over here. My grandparents and parents are buried in this cemetery. Both, there, both of them are veterans. And this morning we honored Lance Corporal Thomas R. Moore, U.S. Marine Corps, with a Memorial Square dedication to his memory, now located at the intersection of Ferry and Belmont Streets. Thomas Moore was 20 years old when he was killed in Vietnam on February 22, 1970, and he was a, a Malden High School graduate class of 1967. And if you look way in the back in the last row, there's a red Marine Corps flag just a little bit higher than every, everyone else with the uh, U.S. flag. That's Tom's grave right there. So those of you that missed that ceremony can visit his grave later on and read about him. It's in today's Boston Globe. There's an editorial section all about Thomas More and Malden and Malden's monuments and memorials to our veterans. Somehow, I guess, we do it better and bigger than a lot of other cities, and the Globe took notice. Also, ironically, Thomas More, Thomas More's uncle was a reporter many, many years ago for the Boston Globe, and I don't even know if the Globe reporter knew that. Since the opening volleys of gunfire of the American Revolution, almost 1.2 million American patriots, soldiers, fallen warriors have died in defense of liberty. Additionally, 1.4 million have been wounded in combat, and tens of millions more have served honorably, surviving without physical wounds, but many do suffer from emotional wounds. These numbers, of course, offer no reckoning of, immense, of the immense value of their service or the sacrifices borne by their families back home. But we do know that the, the value of liberty extends down to us, and it is costly. There are many men that were killed in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam buried right behind you here. And someday, just come through, this week would be perfect. Come in and read some of the inscriptions. It's amazing, a lot of history. Malden certainly has no shortage of heroes. At this time, I'd like a couple of Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts to join me up here at the podium for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please render the appropriate salute or place your hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, boys and girls, I appreciate it. And thank you for helping me in the cemeteries this week. We put out over 10,000 graves in all our cemeteries here in Malden. And I still get calls afterwards that we missed people. So we do the best we can, but let me know if we missed any. Again, Malden has no shortage of heroes, and it's clearly evident in our cemeteries. As I walked through Holy Cross Cemetery last week, the very first two sections inside the gate on the new side across from the office had over 100 men and women who died in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, just in the first 100 yards of that section. Thank you. Good thing these are numbered. <laughs> so it's just amazing history. You might want to spend uh, half a day going through these cemeteries. And remember why we're here today. We're here to honor those that died in battle or back here from their wounds suffered on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And we also honor those that lived a long, productive life, like many of our relatives, or we wouldn't be here, and are buried here in the veteran sections. Just in these, these veteran sections in Malden, we have, in Forestdale Cemetery, I should say, we have over 3,000 veterans. And if you look up way in the back behind the ambulance, you'll see a great, huge monument to our Civil War veterans. It's an incredible monument. It's got a great inscription on it. Just in that section alone, there were over 800 veterans from the Civil War 
buried right there, including a dozen or so African-American soldiers who fought in the Civil War with the famous uh, 54th Infantry Regiment from Massachusetts who are uh, spotlighted in the movie Glory with Denzel Washington. So I recommend that movie to everybody. And then remember, we have a dozen of those soldiers buried here. At this time, I'd like Rabbi Mark Golub to come up and say a prayer in honor of all our veterans that we lost and who are buried here today. Thank you, Kevin. Please remove. Let us pray in his divine sight. Rebunah Shalom, Master of the Universe. On this beautiful day, in this beautiful setting, we remember all those who pay the supreme sacrifice to protect our nation and to protect the principles of liberty and democracy. May all of us, Jew, Christian, Muslim, and all other faiths and nationalities who gather to remember the, these fallen heroes ever be inclined to be with thee and thy ways. Help us to remember, not just for this day, but all those who have given their lives in what we call in Hebrew al Kiddush Hashem, for the glorification of God and country, now and always, together we say amen. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'd like to introduce a man who for most of his life has worked tirelessly for the people of Malden. I have the pleasure of introducing him, a man who cares deeply about this city, and especially for our veterans and their families. He's also the son of a Navy veteran. Just before he was elected to this position, he told many of us at a veterans breakfast that if elected mayor, that his first act would be to fully fund the veteran services department. I later told him that 100 veterans were listening and he's gonna have to keep up, keep that word to all of us. And of course, I can say with certainty, with the help of the Malden City Council and the promise he made to our veterans that day, he still honored it and honors it today as they authorize my budget every year so I can assist our veterans and their families. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your mayor, Mayor Gary Christensen. Thank you, Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. As our veteran services director, Kevin Jarvis said, roughly two hours ago, we began the day at the corner of Ferry and Belmont Streets with the dedication of a memorial square in honor of Lance Corporal Thomas Moore, Jr. Lance Corporal Moore, who was laid to rest here at Forestdale Cemetery, made the courageous decision to serve our country and paid the ultimate sacrifice during the Vietnam War. I started this morning's ceremony with the words of President John F. Kennedy, who said, a nation reveals itself not only by the people it produces, but also by the people it honors and remembers. There is no better time than Memorial Day to pay tribute to the men and women who fought and died to protect our country. From Veteran Services Director Kevin Chavez organizing today's ceremony to Cemetery Director Jim Cahill preparing the perfect backdrop to honor our fallen heroes to our Grand Marshal Bob Goodwin, who served our country bravely in Korea, and to dedicating the Lance Corporal Thomas Moore Jr. Memorial Square. Today, we reflect on the valor of our courageous heroes. But it's not just on Memorial Day that we pay homage to our warriors. Rather, it's what we do as a city throughout the year that defines the day's true meaning. In just the past 12 months here in Malden, we came together to establish a citywide World War I memorial for the 100th anniversary of the end of that war. Dedicated five new memorial squares across the city. Hosted the wounded vet run for the first time ever. And I am pleased to announce that with the assistance of Cemetery Director Jim Cahill, we will be planning a citywide Korean 
and Vietnam War Memorial to be dedicated next year. I am proud to say that Malden has always shown its pride and respect for all those who sacrificed their dreams to preserve the hope of our nation and defend our freedom. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Today we're lucky enough to have with us a man who moved to Malden as soon as he returned to the United States after fighting for our freedom in the Korean War. Representing Malden's veterans, both past and present, as Malden's 2019 Memorial Day Grand Marshal is U.S. Army veteran Herbert T. Bob Goodwin. Please give Mr. Goodwin a hand, standing right behind me. I went to school with his son, Mike, so I knew how good a guy he was if he had to raise the son like that. Bob Goodwin was born in Everett in 1930 and enlisted in the United States Army on September 6, 1951. He was honorably discharged on May 19, 1953. During the war, Corporal Goodwin served overseas for 13 months in Korea with Headquarters Battery, 10th Field Artillery Battalion, and he took part in three military campaigns during that war. The Korean War lasted from June 25, 1950 to July 27, 1953, and there were 33,643 battle deaths to include 17 men from Malden. There are also still, believe it or not, 7,704 American soldiers, airmen, Marines, still unaccounted for from the Korean War. 7,704 MIAs just from that war. For his service during the Korean War, Bob was awarded the Korean Service Medal with three bronze battle stars and the United States Service Medal, among many other awards. Though born in Everett, Mr. Goodwin is a longtime resident of Malden. In 1953, he married his wife of 66 years, Joanna, as soon as he returned home from the Korean War. After Bob and Joanna Goodwin married, they moved into their same home in Edgeworth, where they raised their four children, Debbie, Michael, Bobby, Jimmy, and where they still live today. They're proud grandparents of four children. Bob Goodwin was one of those very lucky guys who got to come home from war and help build this great country through hard work and dedication. He was employed for many years as an account executive with Big A Auto Parts, where he covered the New England area from Portland, Maine, down to Newport, Rhode Island. And I'm sure he stopped off in Malden once in a while. Busy guy on the road, I bet. Bob's a life member of the Malden DAV, Disabled American Veterans, and also the Melrose Veterans of Foreign Wars. Again, please help me welcome and congratulate Bob Goodwin, Malden's 2019 Memorial Day Parade Grand Marshal. I'm sure, I'm sure Bob is very proud to represent all of Malden's veterans, both past and present but especially those who paid the ultimate sacrifice and died fighting for our freedom. Like Malden's 17 men who died in the Korean War, and many others like Lance Corporal Moore, who sadly died in Vietnam nearly 50 years ago. Believe it or not, we had a couple of men with us this morning who served with Tom Moore in Vietnam. One was severely wounded, John Boros of, of uh, Taunton, Massachusetts. He spent months at the Chelsea uh, Naval Hospital uh, recovering before he got to come out and meet Mrs. Moore and tell her how her son died. There was also a man named Dennis Best from Ocean City, New Jersey, came up yesterday for this ceremony, who was there when Tom died and he later lost both legs in Vietnam. The city, along with many citizens who donated money, helped me dedicate a brand new World War I monument at Deva Park last Veterans Day. This monument contains three large bronze plaques with the names of 2,821 men and women who served in uniform 100 years ago. They were all from Malden. And sadly, there are 75 gold stars next to the names of those 75 men and women who died in World War I. And though, though we want to celebrate Memorial Day, and we will, celebrate the memory of these men and women that died fighting for our freedom. The crowd that attended the first Memorial Day ceremony in 1868 
was approximately 5,000 people. That's about the same amount of flags placed on our graves in this cemetery. Amazing statistic. Now we've put flowers and small American flags on each grave, a tradition that's followed across all our national cemeteries today. This afternoon at 3 p.m. there'll be a national moment of remembrance. So as you're having your barbecue, talking to your friends, remembering friends and family that are no longer with us, start for a moment to remember our fallen heroes. I want to thank all the volunteers who assisted me this year. It was really tough last week, pouring rain. Martha, myself, and many of you volunteers walked for hours in the pouring rain putting flags on the, on the graves. So I want to thank you. And of course, Jim Cahill has tremendous staff who helped me also because they saw us out here in that pouring rain and they came to our raid helping, cleaning up, making this place look wonderful. Bobby Knox and John Fox from the D and all the DPW crew who did a great job sprucing up our veterans monuments and squares. And most importantly, students from Malden Catholic, Malden High School, in the middle schools, the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. But I want to single out one man, um, Frank Spignacy from the DAV, who was out there four or five days with us. I think he's 78 years old, and I couldn't keep up with the guy. <laughs> Steve Champlin, the Boy Scouts, Heidi Sutherland, the Girl Scouts, Frank Mollis, Kathy McMullen, Teen Center kids came out and helped, and all you others who spent many hours, days, early morning, late nights, in the pouring rain, blazing sun, decorating these graves. Thank you so very much. And at this time, I just want, want you to bow your heads for a moment, just before we play taps. And remember, everyone who is no longer here with us that fought and died on the battlefield or later from their injuries, home here on the front. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please come to attention. Put your hand over your heart or render the appropriate salute as taps will be performed by Malden High School students Wilson Chow and Josias Benitez.